Hello everyone, Chef Shaquay here from the Sylvia Center, a nonprofit that specializes in hands-on food and nutrition education for young people in New York City and Columbia County. Today we're using these fresh peaches to make a peach galette. Now a galette is similar to a pie, it's free form and there's no top crust, so we'll fold the sides over. So let's wash our hands and let's get started. Here are our ingredients. So for the crust, we have butter, salt, all-purpose flour, whole wheat flour, and a dash of cane turbinado sugar. And then for the filling, we have of course our char of the shell, the peaches, and our spices. So our spices are optional. Then we have nutmeg, cardamom, cinnamon, and ginger. And we'll use a little bit of the brown sugar in our filling as well along with some flour. Here's our equipment. We have two bowls, one for our peach mixture and the other for to make our dough for our crust, for our crustata or galette. Um, we have a knife to cut our peaches, a microplane to grate our ginger, a sheet pan and that's lined with a soap pat. If you don't have a soap pat, parchment paper will do just fine and of course our cutting board. So the first thing we're doing is starting the dough. I have the all-purpose flour, the whole wheat flour, brown sugar and salt in our bowl and I have butter. Now the butter I had in the freezer just to make sure it stays really nice and cold as well as the water we're using. I have an ice cube in it again because keeping this cold, the dough cold, will ensure that it's flaky and there's layers to the crust once it bakes. We have our mixture already mixed up. Now I'm just going to cut butter in the cubes. I know these may look pretty large to you, but I'll show you the importance of this when we're mixing the dough. So just be careful. So we have our butter in and I'm just like breaking up the cubes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss everything together and basically flatten the butter, just like so. We're just gonna flatten all of the pieces and it's gonna just make like large flakes of butter. And when we roll out the dough and fold it, that will create the layers. So you don't want like the little pieces, the large pieces are fine because like I said, this is going to be rolled out and it'll create the layers. Okay, we have our butter flattened out in pieces. There's so many techniques to making like pie dough. This one is great because, you know, the large pieces will create the flakes when we roll it. And you don't want it so small because then that will turn into a liquid and you won't have the flaky crust. So now I'm just going to add in my cold water and just mix it up by hand. So we have our dough. It looks like really craggly. Now we're just going to empty it out on a floured board or your tabletop and bring it all together. You don't want to handle it too much because like I said, you don't want the butter to melt. We just want to bring it into a ball. Okay, once it comes together, we have it into like a disc. And you can see like the spots with the butter, this is exa that's exactly what you want. We're gonna wrap this up in plastic wrap and let it rest in the fridge for about 20 minutes. So while our dough is in the refrigerator resting and chilling, we can prepare our peaches. So we have our peaches washed off and now I'm going to basically cut them. 
show you. Nice. Just go around the middle, the perimeter, and twist. And we're gonna just do slices, just like so. And then for the middle part, if you can't pull it out like that, oh, I could do it. Just make sure you get both because you see the seeds split in half and that's it. So we're just gonna make all of these peaches into slices and put them in our bowl. We have our peaches and I added the spices which are like I said before optional but I just think it just gives a different like taste and it all works well together so we have our brown sugar our cinnamon nutmeg cardamom along with a pinch of salt and our all-purpose flour and I you know you're probably thinking why do we have all-purpose flour what this does is as the peaches are cooking, it's going to release juice, so the all-purpose flour is there to help thicken up the juices. Now I'm just going to grate in my ginger, and we could toss everything together. Now here's our dough that's been in the refrigerator. And like we have, we see the little butter pieces, and that's great. So now I'm just going to roll it out to about a nine-inch circle. So we rolled it out and it's still really nice and chilled. Um, so from here, I'm going to just fold it again. Into another disc and roll this out. And doing this will just make the layers in the crust. Now we have our dough all rolled out and we can still see the spots of butter which is great. Now we're just going to transfer this onto our sheet pan that has the soap pat on it. So here we have our dough and our peaches. I'm going to just arrange the peaches in like a concentric circle pattern um, leaving like a half an inch gap from the end of the dough. So probably starting like right here and going around. So I just stuffed in the peaches where I can. Um, the rest of them and now we're just gonna fold over the crust on top So I've folded everything over and I just crimped it a little bit as you can see the creases now at this point I'm going to chill it again in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes before I pop it in the oven We took our crostata or galette those terms are used interchangeably um, we took it out of the refrigerator and at this time um, we have our oven already preheated to 400 degrees so we could just put it in like so or if you want you could brush it with egg wash or cream and then sprinkle um, like tur more turbinado brown sugar on top and then bake it so now it's time to cook here's the galette it's been 50 minutes in the oven see it's still bubbling it's still super hot so you have to wait at least about 15 minutes before you want to cut and serve it. It's all done. Here it is. All done and cooled. So now we can slice to try. Do it nice. Okay, here we go. And look how that cut. Beautiful. Oh, 
Okay, now it's time to try our peach galette or crostata. Mmm. It's nice because like the spice, you can tell the spices are in there, but it's not overpowering. And the crust is like nice and flaky. It's delicious. This is like perfect for this time of year for peach season. Fun fact. This dessert in French is called a galette, and in Italian it's called a gristata. That's why I use both of them interchangeably. Thank you so much for joining me today. To see more videos like this, as well as recipes, community resources, and activities, check out www.sylviacenter.org. Make sure you like and share this video, and stay healthy and continue cooking. Bye.